Hi there, I'm SR Coder, and this is part three of my ML API tutorial, the newer one. So in this video, we're going to try and quickly write um, a very simple um, IP address input field for the client, so that when you're a client and you're trying to join a host who's on the same local area network, you're able to join them. All right, I'm carrying on the development from the last video that I made. Uh, if you're just joining me for this one, um, all I have is I've set up a, a simple connection um, UI canvas um, on that as a panel so I can switch that on and off when I need to and uh, a host button and a join button. The host button and the join button all go to the connection manager. So if you just go to the network, um, the network manager script, you'll see uh, the host button runs the host event and the join button runs the join event. The uh, key thing that I'm doing here is just following the uh, simple stuff inside of the Unity website about ML API and using the um, the connection approval. So we're using the connection approval and passing in a, a just a password to ensure that we connect to the correct um, the correct game. Otherwise, potentially you can connect to the wrong game and uh, things will look weird. Uh, things will go a bit wrong. So we're just going to continue on from here. We um, we've also got this get random spawn point, um, which is um, very Poor coding that just randomly selects the location that the um, that the player is spawned at when you do the start host or when you do when you when you're finally being approved as a client. So we're going to continue on from that and just what we really want to be able to do is be able to connect across the local area network to another uh, another device because right now you can see when we try to join, um, all we're doing is we're joining uh, with the default setup. Um, the default setup will just join as a local host, which is the connect address that you see here, and we want to change that. So we're going to code that now. So we'll start by adding in our um, the thing that we need for inputting the text. So on the panel, I'm just going to go to UI and I'm going to create an input field. So we're going to call this um, IP input field and this is going to be where we're going to put the IP address. So um, this input field, um, I'm going to drag it just to get up here next to this one. So this in theory, um, I'm going to have to make sure that we anchor it to the same point so it scales properly. And uh, then we're going to have to set, what we're going to do is we're going to set this on value change so that it uh, runs a method to set the actual IP that we're going to connect to. So if we go to the script for the um, connection manager that we did earlier, and uh, let's just make a, a public IP address field up here, a public text field. I'll make it a string and call it um, IP address. Let's actually um, before we move on, let's set the IP address to the actual address of the local host. So it's 127.0.0.1. Um, so that will mean that if you click nothing, the IP address will be correct uh, anyway, and it should connect to the local host without you having to input that value every single time. The next step is obviously writing the function that will set that address from the input field. So we'll make it public. Um, void return type and we'll call it um, IP address changed and uh, we'll make this one take a, a string um, a string value I'll we'll call this new address and um, what we'll do is we'll just say that the um, this object's IP address so this this IP address will be set to the new address that we get from this um, this event when this event fires that's uh, pretty simple. Let's just hook this up before I forget. So if we run uh, back to Unity again, and if we just look at our input field, um, we have this on value changed. Um, what we're going to need to do is just um, add that uh, method to this on value change. So I put this on the connection manager, which is on my connection UI object. So I'll dra drag that on. And then I'll look for the connection manager, which is there. And then uh, really importantly, you need to make sure that you use the dynamic string uh, version of it. There is actually one down here that you'll find 
this um, IP address changed, but you want to choose the dynamic string. That way you'll be able to um, take the value back from whatever it's changed to and use it in your method. So by clicking on that, there's no extra field to fill out in here. It just will take whatever is um, dynamically generated on that event and it'll put it in there. So that's basically um, all that's needed in order to get the IP address from whatever the user types in here. Um, into the join. So it says here enter text. I'm just going to change that before we do anything. So the placeholder text is where you change it. Um, I'm going to type in um, host address um, so that people are uh, prompted to put the correct thing in here um, and that should be good. The next step obviously is um, making sure this network manager, um, this connect address which is part of the unit transport um, component this connect address needs to be set to the value that you're given from this input field so we're just going to deal with that by um, writing some code inside this connection ui so let's fire up this script so we've got the connection ui so we're going to open up this connection manager um, what we need to do is we need to add another using up here. So it's actually um, using mlapi.transports.unit because that's the unit um, is the one that we've chosen for, for this one. I actually quite like the concept of adding in the photon um, transport as well, but we'll maybe cover that in a later video. But this uh, unit transport is what we need in order to be able to set that connection address for that component. So you obviously need to, to get that component. We're going to get that component inside of the join. So um, we could do this at start, um, but when we click join, this is only, only hopefully going to be called when we're on the client. So we'll need to set the address here before we attempt to start the client. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to say that, uh, let's make a new, a new uh, unit transport um, object so we can store this. So we're just going to say um, uh, unit transport. So it should come up unit transport and we'll call it uh, transport. And then um, inside of this, we'll just say that a uh, trans, not transport um, is equal to, and we're going to find this from the network manager. So network manager dot singleton. And then we're going to get the component of unit transport, which should be attached to that. Um, the transport now, uh, now that we have it, we should be able to set the, um, oops, if I can spell, we should be able to set this connect address variable to be equal to the IP address that we've already set or that should be set correctly. So that's kind of it. Um, that's all it is. It's maybe a bit long winded. I could maybe make this in one line. But um, this connect address is what we need to set. And if I just save my code and go back and explain what's happened. So in theory, what we've done is this um, connection uh, manager that we've set up here. Um, we want to be able to uh, go to the network manager. Um, we have this connection uh, manager has the IP address that we want to connect to. Uh, we go to this network manager. We find this unit component and we set this connect address um, as we need to. Um, Let's just test to make sure that it works. So um, just to test that it works, um, I've, I've got my other um, project running. So I've got the uh, project clone running uh, as the host, and this is going to be the client. So we'll start this running now. Um, I have the connection UI object highlighted here because we made this a public IP address so we can see it um, in action. So as I change this value, as I change it to 127, you'll see that it changes down here every time I type a new thing in um, that gets updated. So this is uh, the correct um, address for the local host is 127.0.0.1. And you'll see that um, when I click join, it joins in. Um, this is uh, the host is already here and it joined in again over here. So uh, hopefully that's been fairly useful. Um, it's a pretty simple process to get that unit transport and, uh, and to set that connection address with an input field. So um, stay with the series, uh, there's more videos on the way and we're just going to uh, get some players moving around and uh, get this one point working properly in the next couple of videos.